Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher. I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome lens flare that is super naturalistic and just looks amazing. Now, if you don't know, lens flares come from shooting anamorphic. And the problem is anamorphic lenses are very expensive and they cost a lot of money. They're very expensive. <laughs> um, so you can't always do that and you have to do it digitally. Granted, I don't always recommend this, but you know, for the project, it works. Now, a couple disclaimers. First off, I want to thank Michael Stark for actually showing me this concept in the Ghost Buster's Proton Pack film ride episode they did. So big thank you to them, uh, Michael Stark. And then also, I am not affiliated with Video Copilot's Optical Flares, but I will tell you they are absolutely amazing, and that's how this tutorial is going to go. So let's jump into it. So here's this clip um, I did for a music video, and basically I knew I wanted this anamorphic look, so I put on the anamorphic bars there, smacked them on, and I knew I wanted to show lens flares, so I showed the light, and that's very key. I think if you're going to shoot anamorphic and have lens flares, make sure that you can see the light, the light source, so that way we understand subconsciously where these light flares are coming from, because if they're coming out of nowhere, they seem really weird. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now I already set this over to After Effects, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretend like we were going to. You click on your clip, you'd right click, replace the After Effects composition. So let's jump over there and I'll show you how to do this. So now that we're in After Effects, we need to make what's called a Luma Map, which is basically going to select our light and tell the lens flare how to act, where to go, and how to move. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our clip, Control D for duplicate. We're going to right click and click Precompose. Now make sure Move All Attributes in the New Composition is checked. And we're going to name this Luma Mat. So now that we made this pre-composed Luma Mat, we're going to double click on it so we actually open up the composition. And like I said, we want to make this pure white. So I'm going to click on the layer, go to Effect, Color Correction, Hue and Saturation, drop that saturation down to negative 100, and then go to Effect, Color Correction, Levels. I'm going to grab the bottom of this histogram here, this little lever. <clears throat> drag it all the way up till that's almost pure white and all this is almost pure black. I'm going to grab these highlights and bring them up. Now the problem is we can see there's a, a piece of his necklace that was being hit with the light that kind of shined bright. So we're going to take this, our mask tool here, and we're going to cut out a little square, basically just where that lens or that flare would be. Now we can play it back through and say, okay, it doesn't leave the frame. You want to make sure it never leaves the frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Effects and Presets <clears throat> and type in Fast Blur. We're going to drop Fast Blur on, and I like to set it to around 50. Now what we're going to do lastly to finish this off is go to Layer, New, Solid, Black Layer, and we're going to drop this below. So this becomes our background. So now we have this pure black comp that all it has is this pure white orb that has a little bit of motion blur and floats around. Super cool. That's our Luma map. So now, we're going to jump over to our main comp, and we can see that that's covering up our footage. Now, you don't actually need this on. This, we're going to turn this off. After Effects just needs to have that to use as a reference. All right, so let's actually make our flare now. So we're going to Layer, New, Solid. We're going to call this Flare. Make sure it's our comp size, and we're going to go into our Effects and Presets and type Optical Flares in. We're going to drop that guy on. Now, of course, you can do the flare however you want. Um, for the video, we use the Pro Presets 2 that is also sold by Video Copilot, and I did landing, but you know what? Let's do something kind of fun. I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling different. Let's check it out. How about this haze anamorphic? All right, this looks pretty cool. And of course, you can customize those. Click OK. Make sure you right click on the layer and add. That way, it's in the frame. All right, so what we're going to do now is we want to make sure that this lens flare uses this Luma mat as its movement point. So, what we're going to do. So we're going to go over here to Positioning Mode, Source Type, click Luminance. Then in the Source layer, we're going to click Luma Matte. This way it is referencing our Luma Matte. Now it's going to turn completely white. Come down here, do your Motion Blur and Render Mode and do On Transparent. And then turn your brightness down to about 10 and turn your scale down to about 10 to kind of see where you're at. Now we can see that's pretty bright. That's about what I would want, honestly. That's pretty good. Um, I do notice it seems to be way brighter than it normally is, so I would recommend turning the brightness down overall. Um, you might want to mess with the opacity and things like that. So anyway, we look at that back. So right now, this is using that, lumin that Luma mat that we made that is hidden, and is using that to basically track that light and play through. And of course, the cool thing is because 
it moves naturally and we have that fast blur, that lens flare looks 100% natural on there. Now we could always do color correction to the flare itself if we wanted to go in and you know we could change the color and all that kind of stuff. We can make it more blue. Um, but it's, it's really as simple as that. Now if we hop back over to Premiere, I have a lot on top of this adjustment layer and we can see that look at that we have a full-on natural lens flare and like I said of course it's gonna chop a little bit because my graphics cards screen recording right now but <laughs> but anyway how cool is that a super natural lens flare so easy so quick like I said I, I do understand that you have to spend the money on the optical flares to have this work but I can tell you that the optical flares is so worth the money so I want to thank again to video copilot for optical flares again this isn't sponsored by them but I want to thank them I want to thank Michael Stark for the awesome uh, concept and the idea that gave me this for this video. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments or anything, like and comment. Please subscribe. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you also have any ideas for any other videos, comment below and I'd love to make those. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, enjoy.